right, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some exciting new products, courtesy of our friends over at New Wave Toys. First up, we have the USB charge machine. This is one of their first releases under their Replitronics banner. So this is electronics with a retro vibe and feel. And as you can see right here, it is built to style and look like one of the old arcade change machines you would find. I believe Roe was one of the main manufacturers of these change machines back in the day. But as you can tell, they clearly nailed the look. I mean, this thing, the moment you see it, you say, oh my gosh, that is 100% authentic representation of an arcade change machine but looks can be deceiving because not only is it amazing just artistic piece in itself but it actually serves some cool functionality because it is also a multi-port usb hub charge device so first things first this is not a wireless charging you know capable device on its own it does need wall power so you will plug into the bottom here and when it comes to powering up the USB charge machine, they give you a 10 foot long power cable. So there's no need to fret about having a power cable that's not long enough to reach the top of your desk or wherever you're placing your machine. Nine feet long power, toggle your power switch on and off. Once you've got the AC powered and plugged into the machine, you will now have access to one, two, three, four, five USB 2.0. And up top here, we have a USB 3.0 fast charging ports so we have six ports to where we can charge multiple devices and you're like wow that is overkill why would i possibly need six usb charging devices well the full intent of this was this is going to be a perfect pairing companion for your replicate arcade collection so if you have this centipede the street fighter tempest or even the dragon slayer that's going to be released very soon from new wave toys this is the perfect companion piece because you would get this, plug in all of those 1-6 scale arcade machines to it via the power sources in the back with the USB connectivity, and then boom, you've got yourself not only a mini arcade, but a fully functioning power device that runs your mini arcade, and it looks the part too. So some special features on here, let's get some close-ups. So right here you'll notice this little knob, it spins around, that is to be a faux you know, opening mechanism to where you would pull out the change drawer and you can open up the machine and, you know, service the machine or get your quarters out and everything like that. This is really just an aesthetic kind of nice little detail. It really doesn't do anything other than spin. Don't try to pull it off because you will break it. It doesn't open any secret doors or anything like that. Got a nice little change divot cup here where your change would slide out. And then, of course, you've got where you would slide your dollar bills or your five dollar bills. We have a temporary out of service light. And then we just have the faux wood paneling. Now this thing is made of actually good quality materials. It is very sturdy, very solid, has some nice no slip grip feet on the bottom of it. So if you're putting it on a shelf or on your desk somewhere, you don't have to worry about it sliding around or scratching the surfaces. But not only does it look great, it also has some really cool little bitty accessories and this is where New Wave Toys always knocks it out of the park with the, the fine details. So you get some little bitty 25 cent gold quarter tokens here. Now they just serve as an aesthetic purpose. You're not actually going to put it in the machine or anything like that. You can slide them down here in the change if you want. But other than that, this is just a nice little detail that they threw in that, you know, goes above and beyond the call of what they needed to do. Then we also have some decals. Now these may be a little hard to see. But this is a do not fold bill sticker where you would peel off this decal and you would typically put it right about here and it tells you, you know, how to load your dollars and your $5 bills into the change machines and which way they need to go. So that is an awesome little detail that you can choose to add to your machine or not. And then we also have some little bitty decals of some faux American looking currency. So we've got a little bitty dollar bill here. You could leave them here if you wanted to just sit there on the counter or you could peel this off and you could have another instruction on how to insert the money but let's go ahead and plug this up and test how it functions this temporary out of service light if you don't want it on there's a button on the back of the machine press it and it toggles it off want it back on just push it back and here we have two of the replicates the street fighter 2 and the tempest arcade cabinets being powered via usb off the usb change machine itself now the change machine stands at eight and a half inches tall 
All three of these devices are 1 6 scale, so in proportion you can see that the change machine is as it should be and is scaled smaller than the arcade cabinet. So they absolutely nailed that, so great job New Wave Toys on that. And again, all the little details, little intricacies, all the things they don't have to do, but they always nail the, the specifics and the details when it comes to replication of all these devices and toys and electronics that they make. New Wave Toys absolutely knocks it out of the park. I love all the little accessories, the coins, the stickers, the decals that this comes with the little things like the light up button up here that you can turn off for the temporary service out of order i mean this thing is a no-brainer for anybody that collects arcade memorabilia or you know just looking to build a little micro mini arcade themselves with their replicates so retail price on this is 59.99 and the eta release for this is march 5th so be on the lookout for this next up in the replitronics line is the hotline 16,000 power bank this is of course made to look like an old school cassette tape player um, it looks the part but it doesn't function as a tape player so if you're hoping that this is a both a portable power bank as well as a cassette tape player you will be mistaken so but it does look exceptionally great um, the details again like they got the cassette receiver in there the front door doesn't open it's just one solid piece so don't try to crack it open or anything like that but as far as around top we've got our power button we have a USB flashlight, so you hold this power button for two to three seconds. One, two, three, and then boom, we have a portable USB flashlight. Kind of cool little feature. And then we also have USB-C input output charging, micro USB, and then USB 3 fast charging on this device as well. You've got LED light indicators letting you know how much juice is left in your power bank. So the more lights, the better. You've got a 100% full charge, 75%, 50%, 25%, and there you go. And then around back, we also have 10 watts wireless charging. To activate that, you will push the power button until this little blue, sorry, turn that flashlight off. There we go. You will tap that until this little blue LED indicator is on, good. Set that there, grab my cell phone, and you would throw it on there and you would get some wireless charging. There we go, now it's activated. And as you can see, it actually does work with a case. I've got a pretty thick case on my cell phone, but it is charging wirelessly, gotta love it. On the side, we have some fidgety buttons for people that you know can't sit still or anything like that. These buttons are aesthetic. Um, they don't really serve any function other than just to kill time and push. But these three buttons right here, you can press and depress and they will stay down. We've got some sliders to move up and down, mimicking volume knobs and tuning stations. And then we've got one big, you know, fake power button here that you can press, but it doesn't stay down. But that's kind of neat that they threw it in there. Adds to the overall look and feel that this is an authentic cassette playing deck. This is retail price $39.99, and to me it is worth every penny of it. Uh, we all live in a world where our cell phones and other devices are attached to us at all times, and we need as much power as possible. So it's really cool to have an 80s, you know, 90s throwback device like this cassette tape player that also brings us into the newest future technology and has all the bells and whistles you could possibly want from a charging base. So this will be available March 5th, 2020 as well. So be on the lookout for this very soon. And the last item we have to look at today is the UV base pad for the Replicade lineup. This is an eight by 12 inch pad that is UV printed and has this awesome old school arcade look to it. Uh, you definitely throw a black light on here and it glows and reflects and just gives you all those nostalgic memories of being in the arcade back in the day. But made of the same kind of neoprene mouse pad material, it doubles and if you don't want to put it under your little replicate amusement arcades, you can use this as a mouse pad. No slip grip on the back of it so you don't have to worry about it sliding around, but let's go ahead and take this out of the packaging throw a black light on it and just see how pretty this looks. Hey 
And in terms of how it looks with the replicated cabinets on top of it, you can get about two of the cabinets on each base pad. Again, eight by 12 inches is the measurement of the base pad. Retail price is $9.99 and it will also be available come March 5th. So be on the lookout for the USB charge machine, the base pad, as well as the Hotline 16000 power bank, all available on March 5th.